Howdy YouTube and welcome back to more Star Trek Online with me, Rebster. Here we are with Captain Danny of the USS Austin. Continuing on our mission to boldly go and do whatever we have to do to save the universe. Anyway, so uh, well, there seems to be a problem in the Cassay system. Something to do with the researchers there aren't communicating with us, so we gotta go figure out what's going on. Hey look, the Pavo system. USS Lexington G, apparently. Alright, let's go over here and see what's going on in the, in the Cassé system. Research or rescue. Sir, I am detecting Gorn ships in range of the communications array. I recommend we deal with them before we assess the damage to the array. Shields up, prepare for combat. are showing that the communications array has been heavily damaged by the Gorn. At this range, we should be able to contact the research station on CAS-82. However, the station is not responding to hails, and our scans are detecting signs of multiple fires on the station. Sir, the researchers may be in trouble. Recommend we send an away team to the surface. Very good. The Gorn. They just stormed in and started shooting. Calm down, Dr. Sheehan. Tell us what happened. The first sign of trouble was when we lost contact with the communications array. The Gorn beamed in and started shooting. They destroyed our computer core and took thousands of artifacts we spent years collecting. Then, as if destroying decades of archaeological research weren't enough, they started setting fires. Oh, boy. Hey, that sounds da uh, dark even for the, the Gorn. The Gorn. They just stormed in, and started shooting! What are you researching here? Captain Jean-Luc Picard and the crew of the USS Stargazer discovered ruins from an unknown civilization here, almost 60 years ago. The Federation Science Council has been researching this site ever since. It's a fascinating find. There are more than 40 kilometers of catacombs under this facility. We barely managed to explore a quarter of what we think is here. That is interesting. Two years ago, we found a star chart in the catacombs that indicated that this civilization had contact with interstellar travelers more than 15,000 years ago. The chart led us to another site on Cassé 4, where we found the most extraordinary artifacts. If we're correct, the race that once lived here may have been an advanced proto-reptilian race. That is actually fascinating. The Gorn. They just stormed in and started shooting. Not sure why you keep repeating yourself, but all right. Why would the Gorn attack here? The Gorn have extremely long memories. Thousands of years ago, 
The Gorn hegemony ruled this entire sector. In their minds, that means these planets are still theirs. The alliance with the Klingons has inspired the Gorn to start rebuilding their empire. Every planet from here to Cestus III is in danger. Of course it is. This all comes back down to the Klingons. We couldn't stop dealing. Could we couldn't deal with them properly in the 23rd century? Why should we deal with them properly in the 25th century? Of course. The Gorn. They just stormed in and started shooting. All right, all right, calm down. Did everyone escape the fires? Not everyone. There are several members of our team still unaccounted for. Please, you must find them. The Gorn destroyed our automated fire suppression system in the initial attack. You will find fire suppression devices on the walls that you can use to fight the fires. All right. You'll be safe on the Austin. I'll find your team. I'm coming with you, Captain. There's too much at stake, and I know this project. Oh, very well. Klingon invasion was a blow to Gorn's self-determination and identity. They're all neutralized. I don't know what that means. You'll be all right on the Austin. It just says effects foe 10 max. I don't know what that means. Let's try it on the next enemy you see. Oh, that didn't do anything. Just stand there in the fire. Don't think it's yet. These kinds of raids are the Gorn's attempt to reclaim their identity through their history. I see. Look at all this damage. We'd have helped if the Gorn had just asked. I guess when one of your leaders turns out to be a shapeshifter, though, it damages your sense of trust. Wait, what? What are you talking about? What do you mean one of their leaders was a shapeshifter? This is my other pistol. I got this other pistol in a, uh, uh, what do you call it, um, a duty officer assignment. Ooh, nice. It'll come in handy. It actually has a nice uh, effect. Uh, well, it doesn't say here. I'll show you later. Oh, there we go. But what did she mean? I don't remember ever reading about any of the Gorn leaders being a shapeshifter. Interesting. Let's get these fires put out. I'm curious though, I wonder how the Gorn set these fires to begin with. Oops. Sorry about that. I uh, had a phone call. Team scientist out. Plasma sniper. There's rifle. another research team on Kasei 4, involved in a dig at a promising site. 
Given what the Gorn have done here, I'd imagine that team is in trouble. Captain, we have to check on them. If the Gorn have taken over the dig site, the researchers could be captives. Or worse. Don't worry, we will. But first, let's try to save this station. Put these fires out. There's another oh, research. Weird. I could have sworn if you had gotten all the fires, you got an accolade for that. There's another reason. Austin, beam us up. Sir, attempting to establish a communication link to Captain Gorn ships detected. They're powering up weapons. Scanning for additional hostiles. It appears the ship is safe for now, Captain. I've located the dig site on the surface, sir, but there is a high intensity energy field surrounding it that our sensors cannot penetrate. I can beam an away team to a location outside of the field, sir. Ready to transport on your command. Very good. Everyone be on your guard. Let's beam down. This is the dig site that our team was working on. They set up several shield generators to help protect the most important artifacts from further damage. There's a small encampment under the shield dome. The Gorn probably came in and took over everything. Wouldn't surprise me. If we disable the shield generators, we may be able to get inside and rescue the other archaeologists. Look up. You can see the shield generator beam. We can follow those to find the controllers, and turn off the system. Well then... Shouldn't be too hard, just got a few dozen Gorn in our way. The team here found remnants of a precursor civilization that may be a relative of What is going on? 
Somebody's not happy. Are they the Gorn territorial them? claims aren't entirely without merit, but they would displace billions of people. Well, we can't have that. A diplomatic solution could help to save Gorn heritage without disrupting Federation colonies. That's very true. Oh, gosh. He's dead, Captain. These are Gorn Claw Marks, sir. The other hostages are in great danger. Oh boy. Clean up the mess. So I got an accolade for scanning someone who's dead, but I don't get an accolade for putting out fires. Hey, wait a minute, who's that? Big map. Let's open the box. Fluctuations! Increase the power to the shields! Ooh, someone's getting a little testy. Now that's leading me right in the center of that. There's one more anomaly here somewhere. Vegetation, you gotta go around. Oh, that reminds me. Hold on. Before we go any further, I forgot I picked up another weapon. What does this weapon do? 62.6. I'm feeling not really that much. That's unfortunate. What about that armor? Uh, disruptor damage resistance. Uh, hmm. That's pretty good for me. I'll take it. Let's see. Tarsi. Is this better than what you've got? No. Well, we're damage resistance, but she gets more hit points. Now, go. Let's see. Her, her weapon is 82. Tarvit. What about you? Uh, he's good on that. What about his weapon? Uh, he is good. Japan. How about you? Your weapon. Okay. And that. Yep. Actually, yes, you're fine. Lynn, how about you? Good, and good. Okay, we're good. Wait, okay, what about the ship? What's this? This is a science console. Oh, okay, cool. Let's go ahead and put that on there. Out of combat hull regeneration. Oh, nice. It's very nice. Alright, enough of that. Let's go. Get these Gorn out of here, and hopefully, maybe we can convince them to calm the hell down and work with us rather than against us. Not likely, but you know. Okay. Not sure how I did that, but alright. Just did a, a backwards roll. And landed on top of the console. <laughs> oh, a science accolade, eh? Science override shield generator. Okay. The protected shields are down! Incompetent fools! Ooh, like I said, somebody's a little bit testy.
Cut them to snick. <laughs> oh, what a name. He's definitely a big one. Want to beam up? I figured he's gonna do that. There's no sign of the other team. The Gorn must be holding them captive elsewhere. Ah, we're too late, sir. The Austin has detected Gorn starships approaching from the far side of the planet. If they kidnapped the archaeologists, they should be aboard those ships. The Austin is locked onto your signal and can beam you directly to the bridge. Not yet, Depen. Let's check this area one more time. Ah, the heck with it. Alright, let's go. There's no sun. Austin, we got the boarding party. Boarding party. Landing party. You are meddling in affairs you do not understand. This system was the home of our ancestors. It belongs to the Gorn by ties of blood and conquest. You're a lot shorter on screen than you were in person. We will not allow grave robbers and thieves to desecrate hallowed ground without punishment. Prepare for death! Obviously there's no talking to Captain Snick. So, let's not worry about him. Where'd he go? There he is. Alright, we'll have to disable the ship. First I'm going to scan this hydrazine gas. One thing I always get annoyed by with the Gorn is they always drop mines. And they go. Nope. If you're quick enough, you can take out the mines really easily. Sir, we've locked onto the hostages. Ready to beam them directly to Sig Bay at your command. Beam them on board. Like I said, mines. Now, there's no point in destroying the Gorn ship. The researchers have asked that we leave them here, sir. They say they want to do what they can to recover their research and assess the damage done to the ruins. Starfleet will be sending a team to assist them. We can leave the system whenever you're ready, sir. Very good, Tavrit. I guess we'll leave the Gorn ship here too. They'll lick their wounds and leave. Hopefully they won't be back. Let's return to Sector Space. If the archaeological sites in the Kassai system really are from a proto-Gorn culture, we will have to weigh carefully the knowledge we gained versus what the Gorn claim to be their own history. The Federation Science Council has a lot to consider. For now, though, I'm glad the researchers are safe. Good work. Thank you, Admiral.
Phaser Cannon does 233 damage, whereas 225 is the Plasma Cannon. Uh, the Plasma Cannon has a chance to... Yeah, more Plasma. Yeah, that's actually a much better option. What about the Phaser for the rear? Current aft weapon is a Phaser 200. This is 194. Uh, that sucks. I have two phasers. Okay, hang on. What's this one? That's 173. This is. One, yeah, okay, we'll put it back there. Congratulations, Lieutenant Commander. What? Oh, hello. Oh. Got a new bridge officer. Great. Um, uh, what do I need? Great. Not, not now. I don't have any room for you, so it's fine. Let's put that there. Come Commander Burgess, oh, Starfleet Intelligence. There's something I'd like you to look into. It could change the course of the war in our favor. We have intel suggesting that the Klingons are operating a secret weapons facility in the Hiromi Cluster. We also believe the base is under the command of Ambassador Bavat, ah, a the controversial name. figure in Klingon politics. I'd like you to get to the truth of the matter, and soon. To that end, I'm sending one of my top agents to join you on the mission. I think you'll find Lieutenant Van Zyl to be a very capable officer. Don't hesitate to seek her counsel in the field. Proceed to the Briar Patch, and find out what the Klingons are up to. If there are any weapons there, you are to deactivate or destroy them. And should you encounter the Ambassador, do bring him in. I'd like a word. Yes, I would too. Very well, Commander. Admiral Quinn says you're the right officer for this job. I hope so. All right, let's see. Oh, you got shields. I uh, got better than that. What about this weapon? 73. Oh, of course, it does better than both my other weapons. Phase of damage over seconds, chance to stun, yada, yada, yada. I'm gonna stick with my uh, my two weapons for now. Oh look, I got the fire extinguisher. <laughs> well, I'll deal with this later. Hey, hold on. What was this? Uh, trio. Okay, hang on. Oh, hyper hyperonic radiation. Is this the one that's an AOE? Yes, this is a good one here. This. When the when you fight the Romulans, they use this exact same thing against you, and it just drops your health like that. You're dead. I hate that. So now I'm going to use it against them. <laughs> yes. Boom. There we go. Anyway, what's the, what is this? What? Oh, I oh I have R and D now. Oh oh well never mind. So this is what R&D is, research and development. You can actually start making your own weapons and components and stuff. Now this is something I didn't know they added until... Well, I didn't even realize this was a part of the game until about uh, a week ago when I started playing my other account. So I can start with beam weapons, cannon weapons, engineering consoles and items such as armor, warp cores and engines and such, ground weapons, all kinds of stuff there. Kits and modules, projectiles, torpedo weapons, of course, and uh, of course uh, consoles, as well as mines, science items, other like shields, personal shields, and ship shields, officer training, and special weapons, or sorry, special projects. Really cool. Now, unfortunately, in order to actually level up, you have to start with the simplest stuff. So, for example, if I wanted to make a, hang on, what do we have? Uh, the Austin doesn't have any tactical console, so if I wanted a, I got a console, I want I like the console. Let's go begin. What do I want? We have anti-protons, direct energy manipulation, disruptor, phaser, plasma, polaron, tetrion. Well, what do we have in front? What do we have in our? our that, 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 that works. What's our forward-firing weapon? It is a plasma cannons. Okay, so we have two phaser cannons. Uh, sorry, two phaser banks in the rear. So why don't we go with a phaser? I know our forward weapon's a plasma, but I'm probably going to go with a phaser build. 
So here we go. Item tactical console phaser relay. Alright, so we want to go with Mark IV if we can. Because that should be where I'm at, right? Mark IV is the high. Yeah. So, go confirm. Now, uh, in order to make this, I have to have an officer that can do it, and I also have to have the materials. Now, obviously, uh, the way the, the way this game is, you actually can add catalysts, which will give you uh, make them uh, make the things build faster. I think I forget. Now, but here's the items that you have to have cost. Now you can click that, and it'll take you right to the item that you need to make. Tells you how long it takes to make it. Five seconds. Start task. Boom. You can use the lithium to make the task finish faster, if you want to. You don't have to, of course. Collect results. Boom. Now we got that, we can go back to here. Do the same thing again. Now I know this is kind of annoying to do it like this, but it won't stay when you do one item, so. So we got that. Now we gotta make two of these emitter modules and one of these EPS conduits. You can actually set the quantity of how many you want to make, so I want to make two. See, it takes the items here, tri tri Tritanium, sorry, and Verticon Particles. When you make two of those, it takes about 20 seconds. This is a really good thing to do when you're really low level. That way you can, by the time you hit, you hit the rank of uh, Vice Admiral, or even or even uh, at Rear Admiral Lower Half, you'll actually have some really good material stuff that you can build and sell on the marketplace, or just sell out outright to get some... Uh, quick credits. Alright, back in we go. Mark 4. Phaser. Confirm. One more to go. Look at that. Success rate 98%. Start task. 15 seconds. See, it also gives you the value of how much the component costs. I wanted to sell it. go back here it's done go here begin phaser mark two sorry mark four confirm all the items what hold on what oh right duh <laughs> duh genius my bad I forgot sorry okay here, Mark IV, confirm, got all the items. This is the best option person for it. And I have no catalyst, so it takes 15 minutes for this. Now, I'm not going to say I'm not going to wait 15 minutes, so I'm not going to worry about that. But we're going to go for it. So it's a, got a 15% chance to be rare, 37% chance to be uncommon, or 49% chance to be a common. So catalysts will allow that to change. The, more, the better the catalyst you put in there, the more likely it's going to be very rare, rare, or uncommon. Here's hoping for an uncommon, at least. But, yeah, you never know. Anyway, boom, start task. And while you do that, you level up your point here. Now, in order to have more than one slot, obviously, you have to level up schools, which are these, to certain levels. So I have to have one school at level 2, then I can have two, I think. One, I have another school at level 4, I can have three. And so on. So, anyway, that's going to be doing that, and that's going to be it for the day. Still working on the duty officer stuff. Let me close this. All right, that's gonna be it for today. Like I said, Whew, got a lot of stuff done in a short amount of time, eh? Auto navigate to there while we're at it, so I'll be ready to go there in the next day. All right, well, and so I'm thinking that's all I wanted to talk about. I think so. Yeah, we're good. All right. There we go. Alright, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. If you didn't enjoy the video, you still know what to do. Either way... <laughs> Thanks for watching.